Okay, that was with ADD, with Sabino Black. This is what you want to see right off the bat. The sun is underneath here. Okay, it's putting off all of its energy. This is energy coming off from a distance. Okay, I'll give you a date and a time on this in a second. Date and time on that was the sixth. Okay, I'm gonna give you the fifth here. Okay, and basically it's not gonna. I don't. I don't think it's there. I'll play the movie, and on the sixth, it's not there. Oh, it is there. In the oh, we got two energies. I thought I seen two. Maybe I would. But there's one for sure. So it is coming in daily. Okay. It's not coming off the sun. As you see, that energy is coming in. So it's an energy connection to the sun from another sun. Now, what I need to do is try to. There it is. As you see it coming in. So as you can see, it does seem to be corresponding, it could be somewhat close to the same size as the sun. Now if it'll stay right there, I can get the magnifier up here. And we can get a good idea. I see I didn't I wasn't ready for this. I didn't know it was on this shot. I was impressed at the idea that it wasn't there. See, now this is the sun, and this energy is coming from some other sun, and I, someone have that narrowed down. But this massive distance is between here and here. So, um, let's go to another day, and, and I'll show you another, and I'll play the video too, then I'll go back and play the video on the other one. This. Okay, now I'm back in here, I believe, on the, I'll know my date in a second, but uh, let me give you another in shot on a different day and that energy's there it's hitting the sun from somewhere else from another star another sun out there and basically if we go up a little bit more it's up to you I'm just showing you the picture I'm not even going to point basically because I was trying to point and I forgot that basically when we're in here so you get an idea of the energy wave and size of whatever the heck it is, but it, it's just got to be a star. More than likely, this could be our helium star that they keep on uh, talking about, one of them, you know, because there's a lot, there's there's not just a one helium star out there that we know of, okay? So, you have dates and time here, too, if you can see it pretty good. Might be the fourth, and yeah, that shot was from the fourth, so I'm going to go back to the sixth here real fast. And here I did I screwed up on the six and I didn't play the deal. So it comes in at a certain time and we can start watching the clocks. It's kind of blurred. And you can barely even make out that it's the six and everything like that. Uh, and there it starts coming in. So we are getting a pulse wave and energy wave and I can really show you it really good so that this is going to take the fear out of you people because this is tons of mileage out there okay and then I'll have be able to go over to a lot of this and go all the way back and do another video of going back even farther and see how long we've actually been getting this uh, I didn't know this was here at core and that's what this is is core one now the these satellites out there so they get this energy wave before it gets to earth and they can map out, and then they, they figure out what's going to hit Earth. And Earth has been getting this here in the red and then the green, okay? So you're going to get a hit. We get ahead on our date and time. See, it goes all the way out to the... See, they know what's coming ahead of time. You see what I'm saying on the energy there? Let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit. So the idea, we got a bunch more proton energy going to be hitting us, spiking. So we're going to be getting some more energy. And basically, it's probably coming from what we're finding out there. Now, let me go to the what could be... what two items of it. Now it gets grainy when I do another video and stuff like that, but I'll be able, I got these pictures and stuff like that and be able to go back to this. As you can see, we have images and we may, this is pretty much the comet and its tail and then it does a shadow of the exact same size of itself. Everything does a, the shadow of the exact same size of itself out in space, i.e. the front side of, uh, should be Venus. As you can see, we're way the hell out and zooming back towards it on stereo A, you see, so Venus, and then this is Mercury, and then this is our interesting planet that basically 
is some object that's coming in between Venus and Mercury, as you see, there's no magnetic line, okay? But what's interesting is we might have found a planet also that we don't know too much about because it's caught, the magnetical gets seen by looking at the comet. Now the comet should not have a magnetical, okay? Either that or we have a falling planet through, through space, okay? This is not just a comet. Well, it's a falling planet. It had magnetical and it's got magnetical from the sun. So it's a comet and a tail. Okay. There should be a planet we don't know about that's magnetically tied on this here. Either that or they're zooming out so much and we're getting some kind of a, basically that could possibly be Earth. Okay. All right. Because the sun's over here to the left because of the, you can tell because of the white. Okay. The sun's over here to the left behind more than likely the solar panel right there. Okay. And so I get pictures one way or the other. Thanks to every branch of the U.S. military. So here's a great shot of our, and I can't move the magnifier, but as you see the comet that came in, and basically this is like the 13th for footage, okay, the sun over to the right here, and then you can see the magnetical, you see that? You can see that energy wave, okay, I don't even point, I might be screwing up by, okay, and then you got the comet up here, and then the huge energy ring that's the comet streak. You can't miss it. The black streak, that's the comet. That's how huge it is. And then that's why you see its tail in that shadow, that shot that I just showed you. Okay. And then there's something doing a huge atmospheric flare to the comet and the CME of the sun right here, which the sun is to the right, barely crackling through with the CME right there. Okay. And then you basically have this energy wave down here of some suns, okay, and then basically we have an energy wave that basically might, and I still sitting on it, that it could be the outermost most rings of Saturn that are doing what it's doing from the reaction of these uh, atmospheric, from all kinds of planets up there electrically, because remember, Venus is up over there, and this comet went up above Venus and Mercury, okay, and you have a great shot of it in the idea that energy energy rings from something and Saturn seems to be the hugest thing over there that could possibly do something like that. Either that or it's just all just a f part of the um, atmospheric flares of all those planets at one time that with footage I've seen, if you can go back and watch my videos, okay? And this is H1A and I just had to get back in here and look at this again at the comet. And it could, I could be wrong on it being a comet, but it sure the hell looks like it. And if no matter what, this H1A is only supposed to have us, and it can draw back and I understand see a bunch of stuff. So then Earth would have to be one of these, like maybe even this. But we, there, but we know we always see a magnetical. So there's something out there that's, um, you can't miss it. They've got a magnetical line here to the left, I don't, and because the pointer doesn't work when I have it zoomed in. And then you've got this huge magnetical here then if we found a planet, if this is not the comet that they turned back and looked at to on this shot. So, very, very, just go back, you gotta go back in the video, and I'll square up and get out of here and uh, look at some other stuff. So this black and white shot is just astounding from a H12, so I mean, I zoomed in there and I could zoom in a little bit more, but it's like, it's gotta be the comet, it, but at the same time, that ha that has no magnetical. It's just astounding, okay? And as you see, set your movies are down. Now you can scan this and look at this. This is basically, I got this set up for core, and this whole circle would be what core could see, okay? That's what everything within the circle, and, every, and if anything is barely on the outside edge of that circle, and the, the red line is the sun's trajectory. That's his path through, through space. So you got these huge, super giant stars, okay? that are out there, and that's why we're getting the heat records and so forth, but basically it's going to be a little bit more intense here, <clears throat> and why it's been hot on the 13th and something like that in Australia, because I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to plug that in. Now, there's the size and the heat of them and stuff like that. It's not exactly how they sit in, but it's somewhat 
they do somewhat try to get it squared in because you do have the Super Giants main sequence, the Giants, and then the Super Giants and the main sequence alley and stuff like that drawn in there, and that's what they Hertzberg Russell. It's not really exactly where they're at, but it does show the size and the heat and the temperature and the luminosity and so forth. Like, the, and if they're a, a what for the size, the the heat and the size of them O B A F G K M. It puts it in an order. <clears throat> now, basically, up here on the on the on this map, I'll be able to show you a map. But then also, this is, and I'll be able to show you also a. Uh, these are all the objects that we're going to be in the next shot because we're going to show you them on the 13th of the information of what we had. These are some of the super giants that were there. And these basically die off into hydrogen, oxygen, white dwarfs when they do eventually die. Way, if you, you know, and here's your physical size comparison. Okay. So that's how huge they are and how hot it is on certain days. There's your ascensions and so forth. You see, just today alone, this is how they were shining. And even though they're massive and they're way the hell out light years in space, we still get energy from them, okay? I.e., the beginning of this video is coming from some huge stars, okay? And these are the cl closest huge stars of, of late. Now, in this video, I showed you the meatball, and you can't miss the meatball. There it is, right there, that huge bugger there, okay? So no matter what, make sure you watch all my videos. And I tell you in that video, okay, I tell you in this video where to go watch it at in the video. Now, I've got plenty of these here to show you, okay? I got into the pictures, okay? And as you can see, huge stuff going on, okay? That's the sun over here, and as you can see, something huge, something like the atmosphere, like I'm saying, of Saturn or something like that with this comet. This comet was a lot bigger than what they said. Now, this is so doggone far away that this is not ISON. But Ison is supposed to be bigger than this. Now, can you imagine the brightness that we're going to get from Ison, okay? Now, this is atmospheres of a lot of planets right there blowing up. What I believe, either that or this damn comet is way bigger than what we thought. And you got the black and whites to go back to in this video and check that out. Now, I'm going to make a video of all these next. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over to the B sides and show you them real, real fast. Because basically, they're almost as astounding from the sun. Okay, all this stuff is going to be going on left of Mercury and everything like that. So this is the movie you want to watch next tonight. Because anybody can go to Beacon, okay? You go ahead and go to Beacon, and you're going to be able to see this dark blackness that you're getting from all this electrical action. And yes, this is on B, on the back side. B, okay? B, not Ace, B, the other one. The farthest away one, okay? And yes, it's zoomed in, so more than likely, that should be possibly Jupiter because Jupiter's big okay now I've been saying that that is uh, Mars I mean Venus or Mercury before but Mars would not be in the remember Mars is behind the Sun right now we really shouldn't get Mars in hardly any of the shots only thing we could if we had a satellite down here at Earth to look at the Sun okay in the future we're supposed to have something over top okay so let's give you a slideshow here in the next three or so we'll try to figure out what the heck is in between on the sun back here too on this so as I'll pump in here real fast because there's something huge that's not just the sun there and I can't point but I'll go up but look at the sun I mean at the earth earth gosh I'm sorry I ain't gonna take time to edit though that's not just earth there there's something huge and bright that's a luminosity that's a planet or a star that's way out behind us way far away we're hella safe but it's emitting energy down on us right now Either that or for some reason the moon showed up that big and bright. Okay, because that's Earth there on that recent shot out there of Jupiter and Earth there on H2B. Okay. So my YouTube cohort, YouTube cohort, basically there is people out there's tons of people and it's say hello to everybody in the world, okay? And on YouTube and everything like that. They ha he has sent me that's tough up from the Hawaii telescope. Being able to see that we have two suns. Well, basically what it is, is the information I gave you, those huge suns that are out there behind the sun. We light curvature at certain times of the day, we get way more than just the sun, okay? So I'll make another video in a little bit tonight, and I'll show you these other shots. So I'll go back to A, but I'm going to make a, a movie for you. Basically, I'm going to make it so we can see the, the electrical energy. Now, I'm blowing in here on A, okay? But you're going to see the that energy wave that I showed you at the beginning of the video in the green, okay? That is... I can't help it, but basically the handle probably going to go kind of somewhat close to it. You see down here in the corner, you see that line, that halo. 
So that's that's something huge out there, just big or bigger than the sun. Okay, and since this is a super giant, it pretty much probably is bigger. And that energy wave's coming out, and then what it's doing is it's making that shot that I just came from the B shot. It's making the B shot look dark. That's why you're getting this darkness 